Well, it's okay to He's turning pink. have a crush, yeah. Brad. You're you're at least 45 years old. He's not. <laughs> He's not. We're 55. I just read it. <laughs> He's ignoring me. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet now. Yeah, we're we're fully being ignored. That's probably good. Okay, I'll start with the weather, but definitely traffic is something you want to stick around for. It is foggy. Look at the downtown skyline with the lights on and the fog and all. It's a really, really foggy morning everywhere along the coastline and into the inland valleys. It's 63 degrees at Lindbergh Field and 97% relative humidity. Later today, this marine layer burns off to the beaches. We'll have a partly cloudy day there. 74 degrees, low 90s inland, 90 in the mountains, and 102 getting out into the deserts. Sunny skies, it's going to be awesome. Okay, we have a major problem, a sig alert. Let's get to the traffic. Northbound on the 5 at uh, the rest... <laughs> on the northbound five. They think it's going to be closed for at least the next two to three hours, those three right-hand lanes. All right, Raul, that wraps it up for traffic and weather. Over to you. Raul, new study suggests trying to kick a smoking habit should head to the gym. West Virginia University researchers studied more than 200 trying to quit smoking. Well, they found that 14% of the who added a physical activity actually quit. The success rate was twice as high as experts say that's likely because appeared to be more physically active during their years. Well, the doctor will see you now. Dr. Steve is here to answer your medical questions, even if you don't have an appointment.